Swallows and Amazons, the film version of Arthur Ransom's famous tale of children growing up in the Lake District. Few cinema goers realize that the characters are based on a family of real children. The model for young Roger was a boy called Roger Altunian. Neither he nor Arthur Ransom could have guessed that the real life Roger would grow up to achieve such remarkable things in the treatment of asthma. Well then, Roger. As a grown up scientist, Dr. Roger Altunian was one of those responsible for isolating sodium chromoglycate, perhaps better known as intal. Well, it began long before my time, about 5,000 years ago, in ancient Egypt, where they discovered that a soup made out of a weed called kelly relieved spasm. In other words, the kind of smooth muscle contraction that occurs in the lung when you get an attack of asthma. And our chemists and pharmacologists decided to try and improve on the action of this extract, kelly. And really, the nub of this story is that we started with guinea pigs. And I came onto the scene fairly late, in, after about three years, and I thought that instead of using guinea pigs as the model, we'd use myself, because I'm an asthmatic. And so I used to inhale the antigen, which gave me my asthma attack, and then try the effect of these derivatives. And very soon, I found that these Kellen derivatives didn't actually relieve my spasm very well. And so some of them, not at all. But what they did was, if I gave them, if I inhaled them before the antigen, uh, they actually stopped my asthma attack. In other words, they were an anti-allergic, if you like. And then it was simply a question of trying to improve on this response, on this effect of the drug, by making more and more derivatives. And of course, we could have gone on for a thousand years and never hit a really active compound. But again, we were very lucky. And in 1965, that's about eight years' work, testing about 50 weeks a year, no, so 90 compounds, say, a year, in about eight years, we, we were lucky in finding Intel. The synthesis of sodium chromoglycate is one of the fascinating stories of how one man's perseverance has benefited millions of sufferers all over the world. Sodium chromoglycate is virtually without any side effects. It's a unique drug which acts in advance to prevent attacks. It protects the mast cells and stops them releasing the substances which cause all the trouble, the inflammation in the airways. Taken regularly, sodium chromoglycate prevents the airways from becoming irritable and overreactive. If anything does break through this protective screen, the severity of the attack is less, and it's important to understand that sodium chromoglycate has to be taken today to stop the asthma coming on tomorrow, and so it's essential for it to be taken regularly. Now, getting these modern drugs to the right site in the body, in the right form, and in the proper dose, has often been a problem. With sodium chromoglycate, the problems were how to get the powder released at the same time as the patient was taking a deep breath, and how to get the full dose into the lungs. Well, you know, the solution to the problem was really quite simple. It came to me one day in, the, in my bath, and I was helped, probably, by the fact that I had spent five years during the war as an RAF pilot and instructor, flying instructor, sitting behind one of these propellers. So I was very familiar with the principle of the propeller. Now, the principle of the propeller is really quite simple. When it's made to turn, it creates a draft. Alternatively, if it's placed in a draft, it will also turn. The spin haler works with the same principle. Inside, there is a miniature propeller. When the patient breathes in, it rotates and vibrates and releases the drug into the airstream so that you get automatic coordination of the release of drug with the patient breathing in. And really, that's the principle of the spin halo. Intal was first introduced for use with the spin halo. Now, like other drugs, it is also available as an aerosol inhaler, which many people find more convenient. <laughs> 